What's up, dispatchers? I'm calling y'all in now because it's been a couple of videos, so we should be either calling some carriers or doing something. So, y'all want to figure out how to find carriers from the FMCSA website? I gave y'all one way. Here's another way. Let's talk about it. You can even put this into Google. Um, Google FMCSA website or FMCSA insurance. And I'm going to show you the next steps. So what you can do is Google the FMCSA licensing and insurance public website. Or you can use the link that I give you that I'll post down below. Once you do, this page will come up. Um, and when you do, you're going to go up here to the choose menu option. Click the drop down and select FMCSA register and click go. When you do, all the reports will come up from the last week. We're going to go to the 13th, which you could choose whichever one you like. The report will load and show up like this. Um, this report gives all of the rev revocations, name changes, authority changes, um, and any new authorities that were registered um, prior to that day or a week prior to. So we're gonna scroll down to the fitness section. There's a non-fitness and a fitness section. However, I am going to answer the comments that I got from the previous video, which is asking me how to find carriers that don't transport household goods. And that is the fitness section of this list. So we're gonna scroll all the way down. Before we get to fitness, it will you will hit the non-fitness section first. But as I stated before, these are the carriers that transport household goods. That's, that ain't what we're looking for in this video. So we're going to keep scrolling until we get to the fitness section. And this is all of the carriers that transport everything else but household goods. So it will show you freight forwarders, uh, freight brokers, but it'll also show you those interstate and intrastate carriers that transport um, freight that has recently applied for an authority. So the first one we get that comes up is 1044114. What we're gonna do is take this number, copy it, and then we're gonna go to another screen and paste it. But before I move on, I do wanna let you know that you can just call carriers from this list. However, I wanna show you another step that'll save you time in the long run. Because when we call these carriers, we don't, we're not calling them to waste time. We're calling them to sell them dispatch services. So we at least want to make sure the authority is active and they have the necessary documents on file, such as insurance requirements and any other requirements that the FMCSA requires from carriers to get an authority. So we're going to copy this number, go back to our separate window, which is the licensing and insurance website. And in the docket number, it already has the MC number there. We're gonna paste the number we just copied, do the security check and press search. The information will load up. We're gonna scroll over so we can get a report and we're gonna click the HTML button and then all of their information will come up. So this authority does, this authority does have an active uh, carrier authority. They have insurance on files that $150,000 worth. And they're also applying for a broker authority, which has nothing to do with us right now, but um, it is out public information. So this would be a good person to call and sell your dispatch services to. And it's, 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 it, is, it is as simple as that. Um, so you can take this list, continue to scroll down, copy and paste the numbers into the carrier search. And um, how you will get back to the carrier search on this win you, window is just go back up, click carrier search, click go, and continue to input your numbers and call your carriers. 
So that's the simple way to do it. And that's the best way to find both household carriers and non-household carriers. And that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in for another video. If you have questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. I always leave my email as well. So you can contact me um, to answer the previous questions. I do have a dispatch course coming. It was supposed to launch Jan July 15th, but I had some other issues going on. So I didn't get my course out on time. However, it is still in the works. Um, that information will be linked below as well. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. I'm just trying to help anybody else that wants to branch into or break into the trucking industry. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time where we'll talk about low boards, and I'll probably give you guys other ways to get carriers as well.